Sometimes we want to convert between the metric system and the U.S. system. When we want to do that, we need to go out and look up a new set of conversion factors. And now, unlike the conversion factors that we've been dealing with before, these conversion factors are mostly approximations. That is, they're, they're mostly going to be not exact numbers, but rounded numbers. Because of that, we're going to be a little bit careful when we're choosing our conversion factors. I'm going to put up a table of conversion factors between the metric system and the U.S. system. And we're going to notice a remarkable property that it has. The remarkable property that we should be noticing in this table is that I have separate conversion factors for going from U.S. to metric and for going from metric to U.S. That was really weird, right? For example, we didn't have separate conversion factors for going from feet to inches or inches to feet. We just set up the conversion factor so that the unit we wanted to get rid of was in the denominator. What's going on with this table? It turns out that the reason that I need two different versions of my conversion factors is that these are all rounded, except for this one. One inch is exactly 2.54 centimeters. That's actually how the inch is quote unquote defined nowadays. But other than that, these are all rounded values. These are all approximations. Why does that matter? Well, typically when I do division, I don't get an exact answer. So if I did division, I would round some more. Plus, of course, if we're doing division by hand, it's tedious. So I have these two different versions of my conversion factors so that I never have to round. In general, I can always set up my conversion factor so that the number in the denominator is 1. Okay, so let's see an example. Suppose that a person is 65 inches tall and weighs 130 pounds, and we want to convert their height and weight to centimeters and kilograms. That respectively just means in that order, right? So we want to convert their height to centimeters and their weight to kilograms. So, okay, I'm starting with 65 inches over 1. I want to multiply that by a conversion factor that has inches in the denominator and centimeters in the numerator. And I want to set it up so that the number in the denominator is 1. So I'm going to look at my table and say, here's a conversion factor that has one inch in it and centimeters as the other unit. So one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So inches cancel out. I'll have 65 times 2.54 over one centimeter. Now, we could work out that arithmetic by hand if we wanted to, but uh, let's use the calculator. 65 times 2.54 gives me 165.1 centimeters. Next, weight to kilograms. I have 130 pounds over 1. 
I want a conversion factor with pounds in the denominator and kilograms in the numerator. And I want to choose it so that the number in the denominator is a 1. Looking at my table again, pounds, kilograms, 1 pound is 0.45 kilograms. I'll have 0 0.45 in the numerator. Pounds cancel out and I'm left with 130 times 0 0.45 over 1 kilograms. So on the calculator again, 130 times 0.45 is 58 0.5 kilograms. Now if I wanted to go in the other direction, say I know a race course has a length of 100 meters and I want to know how far that is in yards. Well I'm going to start out with 100 meters over 1 and now I want a conversion factor that has meters in the denominator and yards in the numerator. But I want to choose this conversion factor so that the number in my denominator is 1. So I'll go to my table again and I'll look and I'll find 1 meter is 1.09 yards. So that means I have 1 meter in the denominator 1.09 yards in the numerator. Meters cancel out. 100 times 1.09 is 109 yards. 100 meters then is 109 yards.